Okay, welcome to the subject of ethics and rules or laws in various religions or religious ethics and laws from the Greek in words, okay? Ethos or ethicus and ethicus, which uh, literally the former means character and the latter means moral. But technically, in the division of ethics, it is concerned with the nature of morality which attempts to define what is morally good and bad right and wrong so that is ethic it's concerned with the nature of morality which attempt to define what is morally good and bad and what is morally right and wrong so there are definitions of ethic that we can get from different sources just like encyclopedias okay for example we can see that the term ethics uh, means refers to moral, ethos, character, yeah. ethics or moral philosophy is the study of human action in respect to their being, right or wrong. So means that ethics is the discipline that study human action, the action of humans from the perspective whether it is right or wrong. To know whether this action is right or wrong. So ethics is also called as moral philosophy. There's the discipline concerned with what is morally good and bad, right and wrong. Okay, the last point says that ethics makes a systematic study of our moral ideas and goals, our motives of choice, and our patterns of good and bad conduct. Okay, so it is a science of moral actions of practice so to conclude based on that or the above definitions ethic can be summarized as the philosophical study which attempts to systematically and rationally investigate and define what is morally good and bad right and wrong in human behavior it investigates and analyzes general aspect of human behavior and delineates the theoretical principles of moral conduct. Therefore, ethics is also known as moral philosophy. That is the philosophical thinking of morality. Okay? So again, ethics refers to the philosophical study which try to systematically and rationally investigate that is to investigate from a uh, rational perspective with systematic approach okay in order to define to know what is morally good and what is morally bad about human behavior human action what is morally right what is morally wrong about human behavior therefore it is also known as the moral philosophy the philosophical studies of morality and also known as the philosophical thinking of morality so that is ethics is the philosophical discipline of morality philosophical study of morality and now what is morality it came from latin word mors which literally means character custom habit yeah, it is uh, it is considered as the system of conduct which governs human affairs and relations between individuals. So although ethics and morality are often used interchangeably, both can be still distinguished because they have close connection, but we still can distinguish yeah, between them. Ethics, for example, okay, ethics refers to the systematic general science of right and wrong conduct general science systematic general science of right and wrong conduct morals or morality on the other hand refers to the actual patterns of conduct and the direct working rules of moral action so morals on the other hand refers to the actual pattern of the conduct while ethics refers to the systematic general science of right and wrong yeah so ethics is usually taken to refer to the philosophical and religious study of right behavior 
morals on the other hand refers more to a personal code of conduct. So we can conclude that ethic refers to the theoretical aspect of morality. So ethic cover the theoretical aspect of morality whereas morality refers to the actual practical aspects of moral conduct. Okay? So ethics focus more on the theoretical aspects of morality. Why moral and morality refers to the actual practical aspect of moral conduct of action. Ethics therefore is concerned with the theoretical discussion of right and wrong conduct whereas morality is associated with the actual and practical code of conduct so that's the difference ethic more on the on the discipline on the philosophy on the science on the on the uh, theoretical aspects of morality why morality refers to the actual pattern of conduct the actual action of human beings now in islam we have the term akhlaq. Akhlaq, okay, which is the plural of khuluq. So, simply refers to innate disposition, character, behavior, attitude, custom, and tradition. Akhlaq has been defined as an established state of the soul which can generate action easily without need, without any need for thinking and deliberation. So the term akhlaq is very unique and comprehensive and in fact dynamic yeah? as compared to the term of ethics and morality. Imam Ghazali defined akhlaq as an, est an established state of the soul from which action proceeds easily without any need for reflection and deliberation. Likewise, Ibn Miskawai, another uh, Muslim prominent scholar also defined akhlaq as a state of the soul which causes it to perform its action without thought or deliberation. So both of them agree that akhla is the state of the soul, the stable state of the soul, where it can produce actions easily, automatically, without need for thinking, for deliberation yeah, without need for any pressure. Muslims believe that the Islamic ethical system covers all aspects of morality so it is comprehensive and practical. Islamic ethics covers both positive and negative aspects of moral conduct and is aimed at implementing good behavior in humankind. So akhlaq is much wider and deeper than just ethics. Akhlaq, in fact, related to the term khalq, that is creation, khaliq, creator, and makhluk, creatures. Therefore, akhlaq occurs as a medium which creates a good relationship between creator, khaliq, pencipta, and creatures, makhluk, as well as between creatures. So there is also a significant difference between akhlaq and moral on their sources, standards, and approaches in determining what is good and what is bad. Okay, now religious ethics. Religious ethics is one aspect of religion which is concerned with the normative pattern of human actions or moral conducts. So ethics in religious perspective is right behavior in the like of religion. Right behavior in the like of religion. Therefore, according to religious ethic, it is religion that defines what is morally good and bad, or right or wrong. So, religion which defines whether this action is considered as good action, and this action is considered as bad action. Okay, just like this is halal, that is haram. This is allowed, permissible, that is forbidden. So, religion which defines. Generally, ethical rules in religious ethics consist of positive injunction and negative prohibition, a practical instrument in developing good qualities in humankind. That's why we can see from religious perspective, from religious teaching, some are allowed, some are uh, encouraged, some are uh, forbidden. Definition of good deeds, uh, of good deeds, good actions, good behavior, good works. A deed, an action will be regarded as good when it confirms to particular principles 
or standard values, namely when it conforms to particular standard values, and consider bad when it contradicts those principles or standards, which can be broadly categorized as either ethical or religious. So these principles, these standard values can be categorized as whether ethical values or ethical standard and religious values or religious standards. So the foundation of religious principles normally based on revelation or scriptures or both yeah. or the fundamental teaching of the founder of that particular religion. In general, an action or deed will be considered as good or ethical if it confirms to the standard norms of morality and will be considered as bad or unethical when it breaches or contradict them. However, from religious perspective, good or righteous deeds or righteous actions refer to those deeds or actions that are done rationally, intentionally, freely, and in conformity with religious principles, as with religious uh, teachings and beliefs, which in terms are normally in harmony with moral norms. 